one of the biggest and most famous superheroes in the MCU has to be Spider-Man, a name that almost everybody knows, and today, we have yet another topic to talk about when it comes to what surrounds the web-slinging, friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. One of the biggest theories that resurfaced regarding the Spider-Man 3 is the theory of Ned Leeds, Spider-Man's closest friend, who knew everything from the start, is going to become the infamous Hobgoblin. While on that thought, stay with us as we talk about one of the biggest theories at the moment. Enjoy! Who is the Hobgoblin? Within the announcement of Spider-Man 3 coming to the big screen as part of the collaboration between Sony and Marvel, we will have the privilege to see Tom Holland starring for the third time in the entitled role in a standalone movie. And with that, other members of the cast were confirmed of coming back and reprising their roles. One of those actors is Jacob Batalon, who plays Ned Leeds, Peter's closest friend and also his classmate, who knew about his secret right from the start and was able to help him on his adventures so far. With the news which we got from Marvel in that the multiverse will be incorporated into Spider-Man 3, this actually makes a lot of sense for Ned to become a Hobgoblin in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Now that it is out there, let us go step by step and theory craft the whole thing down. In the movies, Ned is the best friend of Peter Parker and his closest ally. He has been aware of Peter's secret identity since early in Spider-Man Homecoming. And with that, he was his most trusted confidant in the MCU. As for the character, so far he has appeared in four films, including both Spider-Man movies, Avengers Infinity War, and Avengers Endgame. In the Marvel comics, Ned Leeds is also known as the Hobgoblin. He is a classic Spider-Man villain and similar in concept to his greatest enemy, the Green Goblin. Just like in the movies in the MCU, Ned is the main supporting character of Spider-Man in the comics too. He worked as a journalist at the Daily Planet under the name of J. Jonah Jameson. And he was also the husband of Peter's first girlfriend from his high school days, Betty Brant. And right from the start, he was one of the most trusted friends of Peter until his reputation was ruined by the discovery of him being the Hobgoblin. It went for a while like this until later Twist revealed that Ned was only operating as the Marvel Comics villain after he was brainwashed by the true Hobgoblin, Roderick Kingsley. Unfortunately, Ned died before his good name could have been restored, an event that left Spider-Man with a burden of guilt for quite some time. On the other hand, in the MCU, there hasn't been any adaptation so far for the Hobgoblin, but that might change with the introduction of the multiverse. And already, everybody knowing that the Spider-Man 3 will feature appearances from the amazing Spider-Man 2's Electro, who will be played by Jamie Foxx, reprising his role as Benedict Cumberbatch's Doctor Strange. Now, this inclusion from both of these characters provides strong evidence that the movie will indeed involve the multiverse and some sort of interdimensional conflict. If the multiverse is present in the third installment, other timelines will be included, means Peter Parker can meet other versions of Spider-Man characters and other personalities too, like the first Spider-Man we got on the big screen, and that is Tobey Maguire's take on the hero. And this is why there is a possibility that Spider-Man 3 will use the multiverse elements of the film to make Jacob Badalon's Ned Leeds the MCU's very own Hobgoblin. It's been an honor, Spider-Man. What are you doing here? There's a dance. Uh... Jacob Batalon looks different in MCU Spider-Man 3. As the cast was getting confirmation from day to day, Jacob Batalon was also among the first ones who got confirmed reprising their roles, or in this case, his role for Ned Leeds in the Spider-Man 3, and apparently he has lost over a hundred pounds since the second installment, which will allow him to have a slimmer look. Of course, this could be his very own choice about the weight loss, but many believe that the actor lost the weight for his role in Spider-Man 3. But a little bit later on that, and why do we think like this? Tell us in the comments down below what you think. Is it a personal choice or also the actor's choice to be fit for the role in his role in the MCU, the one that is yet to come? If the second theory is true of him losing weight for his role, then this raises many questions about his part in the Spider-Man 3, 
and what kind of difference there will be when compared to the previous two installments of the franchise, and his role in those two at that too. Up until this point, his weight never really mattered for the story before. Maybe this will be his first change-up. It may be that Ned's role requires more slimmer look and appearance for some reason. We will have to wait and see. Join me and together we'll build my new Lego Death Star. What? So lame. Jacob Batalon wants Ned Leeds to become Hobgoblin. Getting to be part of the fighting scenes is something Jacob would be able to do as Ned Leeds becomes the Hobgoblin, just like in the Marvel comics and his comic book character in the 1980s. And as we've mentioned before about Jacob, losing his weight on purpose for his role, well, it is worth noting that being the Hobgoblin in the MCU is what Jacob does want for his character. At some point down the line, maybe this is why he went through the change in the first place. Back in 2019, he showed interest in bringing Ned closer to his comic book character and suiting up as the Hobgoblin. And while we are here, he also made a few mentions of him eventually wanting to become a member of the iconic Spider-Man team of villains, the Sinister Six, which has also been mentioned when looking at the future of Spider-Man in the MCU, which maybe gives us a huge leverage when it comes to him becoming the Hobgoblin for real and not just part of a theory. They have a lair? Dude. A gang with alien guns run by a guy with wings? Yeah, they have a lair. Badass. The MCU's Ned Leeds can't become Hobgoblin in Spider-Man 3. On the other hand, a topic worth mentioning is that even though Batalon wants to be Hobgoblin, so far, there hasn't been any likely trajectory for it to happen. And his version about the character, ever since the beginning of the development of the theory and Ned becoming the Hobgoblin in the MCU, there was a negative theory, as in everything else. This also makes sense, as there has been no setup for the Hobgoblin so far, and it wouldn't make much sense for someone as loyal as Ned to become the enemy of Spider-Man, and the best case scenario would be for Marvel to follow the comics and have him brainwashed by Roderick Kingsley or someone else. Other than that, every other take on the Hobgoblin would just be a nuisance. However, this wouldn't work as it would destroy the dynamic they have been between him and Peter Parker, and also Spider-Man would lose the comedy relief and the moments of levity. It would just be strange for Marvel to move away from this part in the movies, in which they had a lot of success so far. Theory: Ned is Hobgoblin from another universe in Spider-Man 3. Now, before we close out the video, one more theory has been rising through the ranks on the internet. The Ned leads that fans from the MCU know might sleep tighter as their Ned would not confront the same fate the Ned from the comic books did and becoming the Hobgoblin. The multiverse in Spider-Man 3 opens the door for a new Ned Leeds to become Hobgoblin, another addition on top of Jamie Foxx's Electro and Tobey Maguire's Spider-Man. If characters from another dimension come to Peter's life, or he, together with Doctor Strange, visit other worlds, they might come in contact with a different Ned Leeds that took a whole other path in his life, a different turn. In one timeline, Ned could have been truly evil, unhinged person who has a vendetta against his universe's Spider-Man, who may also be played by Tom Holland. Just a theory, however. Don't forget that. Alternatively, there could be a timeline where Peter runs into a comic book accurate of Ned Leeds, who works for the Daily Planet and is dating Betty Brandt. This is a character who could have been brainwashed by Spider-Man 3's main villain into becoming the Hobgoblin, complete with his glider, costume, and a wide range of arsenal of pumpkin bombs. A character in the movie who might serve as Peter's secondary antagonist, or even a minion to Peter's real enemy. Either scenario could result in some interesting interactions between the characters on the big screen, something new which we haven't seen so far. Maybe Ned will use his friendship with Peter to gain an advantage and use it against him. Or he could replace the good Ned and take his place to gain Peter's confidence. If this is bound to happen, deadly portrayal could occur in Spider-Man 3. The list is endless with these kinds of theories. And on that note, we end our video. Thank you for staying with us until the end. Make sure to leave a comment down below in the comment section about what you think of these theories and which of them is most likely to happen according to you. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more videos like this in the future.